the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. At once, there are countries today that they have passed certain bills into law and they did not call any preacher or pastoral association for their consultation. So two people can decide to get married. Listen carefully. A man and a man. And they can choose the church they want to join them. And as a pastor, if you don't join them, they will withdraw your license. Sue you, lock up your church, pack up everything. Hallelujah. This is very disastrous. So we need men who have the fear of God. Men who understand the values of the kingdom to invade our government. Hallelujah. The Ten Commandments is not kicked out by herbalists. It's kicked out by parliament people. People who sit down and legislate on behalf of the kingdom. We can keep praying in tongues and throwing ourselves up and down. But so long as there are people who are legislating things that are not consistent with the will of God. It's terrible. In China, you cannot have more than a child now. One is okay. Praise God. It's terrible. They carry out free abortions before they pay women's salary. If by any reason, whether knowingly or unknowingly, your husband gets you pregnant, you are in for it. What did I say? Whether knowingly or unknowingly. That is none of their business. You have one child, that's enough. Because they are trying to control whatever they want to control. It's terrible. So we need people there. Number three. Family life. How many of you agree with me that family life is in a mess right now? It needs a reordering. Hallelujah. The boundaries that have been kept have been taken away. We do not even know where the boundaries are again. And this is why this series is important. But let's just review the other mountains. You can get all of this in our teachings on the kingdom. The fourth mountain. Education. Very important. For as long as we keep teaching people. You know, I told you one of our dreams is by the time God gives us an opportunity, we are going to build a school, a world-class school. I've shared it with the leaders. We will build a school and there are three courses we are going to add to the curriculum. One is called Spiritual Growth, Financial Education, and Koinonia. These are three courses that our students must offer. Hallelujah. For you to write Yek, they say you must pass mass and English. For us, you must pass mass, English, financial education, and spiritual growth. Yeah. We keep raising intellectuals who have no fear and no knowledge of God. And their knowledge makes them fools. The Bible says there were two trees in the garden. One, the tree of life. The other, the tree that brings the knowledge of both good and evil. Hallelujah. The fifth mountain. Arts and entertainment, very important. Hallelujah. Some of you are gifted and skilled fashion designers, beauticians, and so on and so forth. We need people to carry the value system. We don't want the world teaching us how to dress, coming with every kind of junk and everything. We don't want the world controlling us. Let the best footballers be tongue talking Christians, let the best golfers be tongue talking Christians. Who can say no to every Jezebel that wants to come and throw down their destiny? Hallelujah. We need to take the value system of the kingdom. Mountain number six. The media. I look forward to times when we will not just own. See, I truly believe that during our time, owning a television station will be like owning a handset. Hallelujah. We are talking about satellites. We are not talking about television stations. Hallelujah. 
owning set lights and we pay for the bill for decades ahead of time we can do anything we want to do nobody comes to tell us what to put on air or what to take out of air how to culture and edit our words when you're listening to christian programs and someone says a vulgar word they have ways of canceling it there are other programs that when you are mentioning the things of god they cancel it the same way that is nonsense can't stand begging the government for permission and airtime and they give us five minutes and ten minutes if we want to worship for the whole day let's have it thank god for the ministries that have television stations it's a breath of fresh air in this wild jungle of babylon where everything can just be posted online hallelujah then the last mountain is the mountain of religion religion has caused more harm to the body it's all kinds of things we need men who will rise up this is where you talk about the fivefold authentic christianity and i'm glad to announce to you that nigeria will present the true portrait of apostolic christianity to the world yeah this is true hallelujah the mantle left uk in the days of smith wigglesworth and went down to america and they merchandised it by their intercourse with babylon and it left to asia and now it's returned to africa we will show the world the true portrait of what true apostolic christianity is if you believe that say amen, amen. so today we are going to consider one of the mountains family life pastor jake started it how many of you were blessed celebrate him may god cause men to celebrate you just the way you did selfish people hallelujah don't worry i'm just joking you're not selfish people you're spirit-filled champions and generals on your way to tear down the walls of evil hallelujah so now please understand this we are going to be very comprehensive in this series we're not just talking about for many people when they just talk about um relationship the circumference of our dealing is just a guy a lady how they should get into a relationship and they stop there uh -uh. the journey starts from knowing yourself down till fatherhood raising children and that's why it's called family life it's not called relationship series right family life so it's a journey praise the lord i want you to listen because the lord told me he will answer a lot of questions tonight and i know a few people i hope they are here i told them to be here who sent me a lot of questions you know about several confusions that they've had along this area and i told them look just come for the program god bless you pastor jake started by talking about a godly relationship and we want to bring believers into an understanding of the biblical principles that govern godly relationships and family life everybody say after me i'm a christian that means i'm a child of god that means i'm not of the world that means i have the value system of the kingdom yeah that's true you have the value system of the kingdom you are not of the world you cannot afford to do things the way people are just doing it and it's very sad please look up it's very sad over 90 percent of us in this place have learned everything we learned about relationship and family life either from media or our friends or our bitter experiences hallelujah there are few ministries that pay the price to talk about family life and the principles of godly relationships and you see what you don't teach people when you don't teach people certain principles they learn just anything that comes is that correct there are pastors that castigate and condemn people and get angry at their members because they don't seem to be excelling in this area but then they will not teach the truth the bible says faith comes by hearing when when adam said the lord the bible says in in genesis 3 it says and he heard the voice of god walking in the cool of the day and he said adam where are thou adam said i heard your voice but i hid why because i was naked and god said who told you in other words that's an information you got from somewhere so everything you have today that constitutes your mindset was told you by somebody 
Bible says, Paul speaking, he says, There are, as it were, many voices in the earth. And none of them are without effect. So we are going to be considering a lot of things. This is a very life transforming series. And I want you to pay your rapt attention. Hallelujah. There are many people who were taught nothing about love, nothing about relationship, nothing about sex, nothing about marriage, nothing about the dignity of keeping yourself. They just, our parents just hoped that we will find the truth. Hallelujah. That has resulted to bitter casualty in the lives of many people. But tonight the Lord brings light in the name of Jesus. Very important. And the church that is supposed to be an apostolic molding place. The potter's house. Where men are built and fashioned. They've either shied away from it. And are not ready to take responsibility in that area. And teach and train the people. Because we have this demonic teaching. That these kinds of teaching should not be taught in church. We have this religious spirit. Is that true? There are churches that would dare not talk about things like this. They feel all that there is in the life of someone is just teach people how to be built spiritually. How to pray in tongues. How to love God. But those people who enter a relationship. Is that true? While they are praying, the guy sees the lady and likes her. Now he doesn't know how to manage what is happening to him. Or the guy wants to get married. And all he has been taught to do is pray in tongues and see visions in the realm of the spirit. And fall under the anointing. And he does not know how to help himself. There are many anointed children in the body of Christ. We are only sophisticated when it comes to spiritual things but when it comes to the wisdom of living in our social environment many christians are dull of understanding is that true many christians live like fools in their social environment because we lack the wisdom so you see an unbeliever who does not know god doesn't respect the ways of god but has a lot of wisdom when it comes to living in life wisdom for life many church folks lack this hallelujah that's why you can see for instance unbelieving ladies you never see a guy who just gets up like that and comes to them but every time you want to see nonsense that happens is christian girls any man that feels is emotionally troubled and he just wants to sleep around with any lady they know how to find christian girls hallelujah and that's not because the Christian girls are bad. That's because we the preachers who should build and help them and teach them the truth are being irresponsible. All of us. Let me tell you something. Never pray for a crowd or for membership if you cannot teach and train the people. Are you listening to me? You have no business having people in your congregation if you are not ready to build them. Praise the Lord. And by the grace of God, it's our goal to build people holistically. So sometimes you see us teach on character. And it looks as if that is all there is in God. Then we teach about the principles of the spirit and the anointing. We teach on finance. We teach on purpose, the kingdom, destiny. It's important to touch on every aspect. So that we will have believers that are built and fashioned. If you believe that, say amen right so um pastor jake started with the basics of relationship please let's run through it i have a lot to cover tonight and i trust god for grace in jesus name hallelujah the first thing pastor jake started telling us and everybody i want you to look up inside and outside listen to me lift your hands everybody say i receive the spirit of meekness say one more time i receive the spirit of meekness i humble myself to hear to understand to receive and to learn pride is a is a killer there are many people who because of pride and arrogance would not listen many people will believe they know what they are doing just listen hallelujah praise the lord the first thing we need to define is the concept of love pastor jake said that very extensively i will run through it one of the biggest challenges please let me have one guy and one lady here quickly 
One here, one here. Anybody? Taiwo, quickly, please appreciate them. Hallelujah. Now, listen. I want you to know that a man is not another woman. Every lady say that a man is not another woman. Ladies say a woman is not another man. Very important. The concept of love from the perspective of a man is far different from love. what love is for a woman. Are you following me now? The Bible says that when God brought man into being, all that was man's focus was purpose, destiny. Are you following me now? And honor and authority. Man was conscious of his place, the honor, the authority, and everything God has given him. And so very quickly, I want to go very straight to the point. Every time you talk of love from a man's perspective, it means two things. Number one, honor. Number two, respect. Everybody say, love for a man means, number one. Number two, no matter how you claim or think you are loving a man, if that concept of love does not translate to genuine honor or respect, you have not loved the man by his definition. Are you following me now? Very important. Ladies, understand this. When it comes to dealing with a man, men can kill because of respect. Are you listening to me? Men can kill. You call somebody Mr. when you should call him chief. He can sue you. He can make sure you die for that statement. Is that true? Men can kill. You call somebody a pastor who you should call a reverend or a reverend who you should call a bishop or a brother who you should call an apostle or prophet or whatever. He can kill you for it. Sister, your beauty can fade at once like a leaf if you disrespect a brother. Are you listening to me? Oh, it's, it's not about ego. Ladies think it's ego. It's, it's our configuration by design. You will never get the best of a man if you do not understand what love means from the perspective of the man. So what does love mean, sisters? Honor and respect. What does it mean to honor? To hold in high esteem. To hold in high esteem. As we explore this, you will know the reason why some relationships will never work and some homes will never come together. It doesn't matter what kind of message is preached. It's not just about Satan and demons. Let's get the fundamental thing straight. So love means respect and honor. When you respect the guy, you respect his assignment, you respect his call, you respect his purpose. That's the circumference of what love means for a guy. Very important. It was on account, listen to me ladies, never forget this. Never forget this. Your primary ministry or a fixed ministry that God has put for every lady is to be a help meet for the man. So it doesn't matter what crusades you have to do in the future. It was the first mention of a woman was to be able to help the man in his assignment. Is that true? The Bible says, and God said, it is not good for the man I have created and given an assignment to be alone. It is not good. He said, and I will make a help meet, a help suitable. Ladies say, I'm a help suitable. Say it with confidence. I'm a help suitable. Because there are some of you that have gone through things in life that have abused this statement. You feel that you are not a help to somebody. We'll talk about that. You are a help suitable. And the Bible says, her desire shall be to her husband. Her desire shall be to her husband. So, when you love the man, you respect him, you honor him. Sarah called Abraham Lord. It's not a sign of worship. The word Lord means there, I esteem you. There is a beautiful position that God has given a man and a woman. And ladies, hear me, this is very important. Because there is a satanic movement trying to awaken women, in quote, to their rightful place. 
and while that has worked well it has crossed the boundary are you following me now where ladies believe that they can be a man ladies believe they can be everything there are all kinds of foundations rising up orchestrated by demons that are bringing ladies into rebellion against their husbands and in the home and they think let me tell you something your respect for the man especially when you get married is not just a function of his ability to provide a loan while that is true if your respect for the man is tied just because of his ability to provide you are violating scripture because agape is love without conditions it is a position that god has put you is somebody hearing what i'm saying we have to rush now we come to the world of the ladies guys listen very carefully love does not mean purpose for the lady get it very clearly visionless brothers destiny shaking men of god i announce to you that love for the lady has nothing to do with your destiny carry your destiny and your crusades and your one million salvation target and pack it away when you are talking about love from the sister's perspective sisters if i'm talking can you say amen because some of you have been trying to tell the guy you are so happy that he's seated near you now you say oh god let him say it god has answered your prayer already hallelujah you see because of the fragile nature the fragile nature of the lady and her emotional configuration did you know that the emotional configuration of a lady was designed on purpose are you following me now there are some of you ladies you are trying to make yourselves become men stop it two men cannot live in the same home hallelujah god designed this side of you to be able to compliment the man some ladies are as hard as a rock as hard as a rock it's not a gift to your husband no it's not a gift no man that i know would cherish that i'm not talking of i mean being strong and stable i'm talking of being hard insensitive emotionless you are a man you are not a woman a woman was not designed that way a woman was designed to respond a man was designed to absorb a woman will respond are you learning something those outside if you are following me say amen hallelujah so love for a lady means number one it means attention all guys say attention. attention say it attention in fact let me say it the way i say it all the time maximum care and attention write it those who are guilty are laughing maximum what it's like a graph you know that song nothing no place you must gauge that tip. Ladies will stretch you until they see the highest of the attention. Listen, let me tell you something, guys. Attention for a lady is almost like purpose for you. When you do not give a lady attention, and now we are going to define what we mean, because this word is falling on different soils. We need to redefine it. hallelujah it means care everybody say care. care you must be caring to be caring means to be sensitive to needs to be concerned it means time everybody say time very important time it means affection affection this is an emotional bonding not sex emotional bonding for god's sake emotional bonding if you want to be a priest go to the seminary if you want to get into a relationship open your heart and allow that emotional dimension to find expression in every relationship 
Praise the Lord. So, for the guy, what's the difference? Now, that does not mean, listen, please understand this. That does not mean these other qualities I mentioned in the lady are not appreciated in the life of the man. Are you following me now? But according to the order of priority. So, if, if you're going out with Taiwo now, and you meet and you say, Taiwo, do you know what the Lord is doing in our midst? How was that meeting? And Taiwo is looking at you. She's smiling because she's trying to respect you. But I assure you, she's not hearing what you are saying. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Guaranteed, she's not hearing what you are saying. You ate her food, licked the plate. You didn't even say whether the food is nice or not. This lady took out time, bought these hills. How many of you have seen these hills? Brothers, don't tell lies. If you appreciate it, clap for her, Jare. you just come with your anointing that has blinded your eyes and all you see is souls even on your wife who is already saved <laughs> ladies tell the brothers change yes. shout it again change yes. ah you are in for a shock this night we've not started though <laughs> hallelujah so look up please we have a lot to cover respect and honor there are many of you ladies you are so rude hostile you wonder why no guy comes around you because they see themselves every time they see you <laughs> disrespectful you are rude cruel you don't talk to anybody with respect that's how i am No brother wants to mortgage his prophetic destiny for that kind of wife. Is that true, brothers? Let me tell you something. Don't you think prayers is covering the eyes of the brothers? They are watching. Oh yes, they are watching. The Bible says, be wise like serpents. The brothers are watching. They are watching you as you are doing this, this manly thing you are doing. No respect you are just shouting at the guy and somebody that has been trusting god just says lord thank you for answering my prayers i've i've received from you every man is looking for a woman who will compliment him ladies i want to give you a big shocker right now there's no man that i know who is looking for a preacher everybody is looking for a woman who can be a wife to him He's already a preacher. He doesn't need another one. <laughs> Ladies have this funny thing that they, you feel the more you are entering the anointing, the more attractive you are becoming for the guy. It's such a big mistake. The guy is looking at his children. He already knows he's busy. You are busy just like him. The guy is looking at who can help, who can cook at home. You're already going for five crusades in a week. He will marry you. He doesn't want to die for nothing. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? That's why we have a welfare department to help us. We can fast happily. Why? There is a consolation. Imagine if all we have is prayer ban. We're in trouble as the ministers. Hallelujah. Please appreciate both of them. God bless you. So we have to get it clear. Love is very, very important. When the concept of love is not defined from the kingdom perspective, there is going to be chaos and anarchy. Hallelujah. Have you seen a lady look at a guy? Guys, when the lady comes to you and says you are selfish, ah, me, selfish, I'm providing money, I'm paying the children's school fees. Hallelujah. And the lady is saying you are selfish. And you are now wondering, is it that I'm not purpose driven? Am I not praying enough? What she's saying is, you are not defining love from my perspective. Are you following me now? Very important. Now before we start, Pastor Jake spoke about it here, but let me define 
certain things. The qualities that a guy must have before you think of entering a relationship and a lady. We have to talk about that quickly. There are qualities. Listen. Please look up. If these qualities are not in you and you have been dreaming of asking a lady out in this place, you better wake up from that dream. Wake up in Jesus' name. The Bible says, Arise, thou that sleepest, and let Christ give you light. So wake up tonight and listen. There are many brothers that think because you are macho and broad-chested and tall, dark and handsome, it just means that every lady is standing desperate like a leaf. Better repent of your pride and listen to these qualities that we have to explain. Is anybody following me tonight? I already told you to laugh from the beginning. Look up, please. The Bible says for us to have no business with the unfruitful work of darkness. Before you even consider a relationship or marriage with anybody, let me tell you something. That person must be genuinely born again. Write it. This is not part of the quality. This is what even qualifies you to begin to look at other qualities. Must be born again. We live in a generation where ladies are becoming the Holy Spirit who have the exclusive ability to change any Romeo they like. Let me tell you something. Come out of what you watched in that Nigerian film. Don't get up and go and yoke. See, look up. Every lady, every true godly lady must submit herself to the man. The only choice you have is to choose the kind of head you submit to. Hallelujah. Don't choose any kind of head that will come and kill you. He must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? To submit to the governing authority of Christ. The governing authority of the word. A man that does not submit to the word of God can kill you. There is nothing to give him boundaries. There is nothing to define the terms of his relationship or marriage with you. There is nothing to convict him. You can't afford to go out with a man who is not born again. There are many of us. It's those that are not born again that you like. You say they are nicer than the brothers. But they will take you to hell. And you won't see any of the brothers in hell. We are all going to heaven. Hallelujah. Say he must be born again. Guys say she must be born again. Every lady. That threw every great man in the Bible and in history were nice and beautiful ladies most of them did not have respect for the things of god hallelujah if you marry a lady that is not born again and is not serious with god some of you say uh uh but the guy is nice say that day pastor jakes even saw him didn't he greet you sir let me tell you let me tell you listen i'm answering a lot of questions here do not confuse morality with the presence of the holy spirit in a man are you listening to me? Willpower can only take you so far. You do not know the power of, I mean, Satan and demons outside of the word of God. When you know that, you will know that morality is not enough. See, let me tell you something. You can get a course you don't like for five years. You can struggle it, wrestle it, complain about it and just finish. But when you get married, after 40 years, that man will change and wreck your life. And you will wish you were dead. Some of you, that's the case in your families. Now you have an opportunity to choose. Hallelujah. So are you ready now? Now there are certain qualities that a Christian brother should have. We're, we're not talking about marriage yet. We're talking about relationships now. So every brother, every Christian brother or Christian sister that desires a godly relationship we expect you to be building yourselves or to have built yourselves in this area hallelujah now ladies look up 
I know that if I'm to call two or three ladies now, we don't have the time and ask you, what kind of man do you want? You first smile and say, hey, hey, hey. Hallelujah. You just carry your handbag. It's already written there. Yeah. Because you've been praying about it. You bring out your hundred point agenda list. The guy must have the ability to carve his eyebrows. He must understand about nail filing and the rest. We don't want a brother with oil on his face as if they fried egg on the face. He must be posh and clean. Oh, you think we don't know? <laughs> Hallelujah. I like a brother that will do this, do that, do that. You want a brother that is exposed. Don't want anybody who will be disgracing you in the public. Praise God. You go to a restaurant before they see anything. They've not even prayed. He has started disgracing you. He thinks he's in his room. Now you are embarrassed. Ladies have a lot of things. But let me tell you tonight. Look up please. All those things will not work. Period. Did you hear me? All those things will what? Because even you, you are not prepared for that kind of man. The only man that fits all those qualities you are writing is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not looking for a wife. <laughs> but he has made us his ambassadors. Are you listening to me? You cannot say, oh, this guy must be. There are ladies who are so meticulous say if i look at his skin it must be fresh and this let me not see any funny thing it must be without blemish no the lamb that will be slain listen it's not wrong it's just childish <laughs> you wrote it when you were in secondary school now you came to the university tear it you are growing that's that's just the remedy what you need is not deliverance it's just growth the Bible says, when I was a child, you were writing that when you were trying to keep yourself busy to write SSCA. This is almost 10 years now. Tear that thing. Grow up. Face a real world like a woman and a man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are certain virtues, Pastor Jakes called them and I'll write it, cardinal virtues. That means there are some virtues that eventually they will develop themselves. Listen, ladies, look at me. If you are looking for a perfect man, you have no ministry in the life of that man. Are you listening to me? The purpose of the lady is to complete the man. To help his inadequacy. So if you are looking for a man who is already perfect, you don't have a ministry in the life of that man. Praise the Lord. Mm. Are you getting blessed? Alright ladies, what qualities should you look for in, in the guy? And guys, these are the qualities you should be building yourself in. Number one, honesty and sincerity. Quality number one. Any guy coming around your life who is not honest and sincere, pack your load and run. Don't pray about it. I'm already telling you the answer. Run. Honesty and sincerity. The brother must be honest must be sincere you can't be at the back of ribadu that you know that part that dark part you are just sitting there and they just call and say ah maybe your wife or your girlfriend or whatever calls you and say ah I've, I've arrived lagos sky i just got there right now and she says are you serious well, how was the journey? She said, I'll call you later. I'm even too tired. She said, I understand. Immediately you drop. You just lie to the girl that is a distance call. It's your relative from UK that is calling you. No sincerity. Or you're calling one lady and the lady just comes and you pick up the call. You say, ah, you safe. As, as the money entered, that's not enter. Hurry up now. Don't waste my time. I, I have a beautiful girl here to buy something for her. Why are you wasting my time? And you are lying. Sisters, are the brothers not like that? 
Brothers, don't feel bad. You know me. I always balance the equation. <laughs> Hallelujah. A dishonest brother will produce a dishonest husband, a dishonest father, a dishonest leader, and will kill you. Are you listening to me? Deal ruthlessly with dishonesty. It's better for the brother to say, Mio, I'm trusting God. God has not helped me yet. This shoe you are seeing is my only one. This trouser is the only one. This shirt is the only one. But the spirit of faith is in me. You are seeing me pray in every koinonia. I'm sweating in your presence. You are seeing that we are flogging out this thing. The door will open one day. Is that correct? Many of you ladies, you like guys lying to you. You have itchy ears. You like it so. The guy just comes to you and he's laughing and he just says, Hi, how are you? And this is not how he speaks, so just because you came. And the guy comes and he's bouncing and he likes you. And he says, ah, Sweetheart, I was wondering. Um, so let me talk to this guy. I need to be at the airport tomorrow. What's your tomorrow like? I'm going to take the first flight tomorrow. I have to be back. There's something my, my dad sent a consignment. And can you imagine? This is boys. You know, they are taking my humility for granted. And the lady's melting. Hey! You know it's a lie. Your roommates are watching from their window. You know it's a lie. You like it so. You go back and you carry the lie and you are telling your roommates. You are, you are saying it as if you don't believe him. But you are saying it to increase your reputation. You are claiming that you don't like it. But you are telling everybody, shut up if you don't like it. Why are you telling everybody? Say, can you imagine? That guy came and met me and he was talking about one airport in me. He wants to play with me. Sister B, can you imagine? That guy, and you are claiming that you are not enjoying what he's saying. <laughs> Honesty. Number two. The guy must be teachable. Lady said teachability. Any brother that is not teachable is going to drown you you will follow him together and enter an ocean of trouble and he will drown you and brothers this is where we have to be very careful because you see we guys are egotistic in nature are you following me now it's very difficult there are some brothers here god must help you tonight your deliverance has started from your culture women don't talk to men from your culture women don't advise men is that true some of you are from royal families and you are taking your village everywhere you go even inside your relationship so you are with the lady and she's trying to advise you and she's saying um sweetheart have you considered this way said, look let this be the last time even the bible said wives submit submit means shut up don't try me oh you are entering the fire and the lady is saying, Honey, look at this. We are entering fire. Say, which fire? Guys, fire is burning. You are saying, which fire? Where is the fire? And later you carry the girl and put together in the fire. And it's burning two of you. Later you say, ah, it's true. This thing looks like fire. When it has burnt you and it's almost killing you. Brothers, be teachable. It's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of great strength. These ladies may look like they don't know anything, but I tell you something. If you are humble and you can listen, you will learn a lot of things. Any brother that is not teachable and arrogant and just believes you are the alpha and omega of that relationship, the lady should shut up. Even if she's speaking nonsense, one day she'll say something that is sensible. You must listen. Many husbands have entered into trouble many husbands have done different things that that one plot of land that somebody came to swindle you land of 10 million you sold it for 2 million your wife was telling you be careful be careful say be careful for what all these women they are too emotional there are many of you if you will be teachable you know what teachability is teachability is your willingness to learn and your willingness to accept when you're wrong that's why we taught ourselves in our character building series on four words what's the first one can you remember everybody what's the first one please 
you must say please what's the second one i'm sorry apologize when you are wrong number three thank you you must tell people if they do good for you 20 times say thank you 20 times what's the last one god bless you you must bless people so you must be teachable let's hurry up number three brothers you must be visionary and responsible there are many guys you have not finished managing yourself don't add a woman into it there are many guys you you have not led yourself you don't have self-management you are careless you are indisciplined now you want to bring another lady and add her into your predicament you must be visionary when you hold a lady and say we are going out where are you going to i always give this example how many of you have climbed bike and the bike man told you you were asking him do you know this place do you know cgc before he finished he said yes later he starts going with you he just passes somewhere he said oh god this is not the road he said oh sorry i forgot then he turns back later he comes and just passes and he's heading towards rema and you say oh god stop do you know where we are going he said, i thought you knew the place that's how many guys are you just bring the bike and hit the seat and tell the lady oh yeah climb the lady i used to say climb is it not me once they climb from gear one you go to the last one you are just speeding the lady says sorry you where are we going he said, leave me are we not have we arrived there be patient after 10 years you have not defined where you are going never go out with any guy you don't know where he's taking you to you better know where you are going no don't lead yourself like a sheep to the slaughter hallelujah hallelujah very important he must be responsible psychologically <laughs> a guy who is always crying like a baby does not need relationship he needs help and growth somebody just say kai your hair is looking bushy he's crying it's the lady that says come <laughs> he says see things happen like that the guy says why is everybody doing to beat me <laughs> you are embarrassing the lady they'll say how sister is it that there was no guy which baby did you go and carry like this you enter a program there's a seat here they say sorry stand up for somebody else the guy is already crying the lady now stands up to hold him i say don't cry you are not ready for a relationship my brother please 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 focus on your finances or something else your spiritual life because let me tell you something there are pressures you are going to absorb in your life hallelujah as a leader you don't let people see your tears anyhow it will kill their spirits hallelujah every lady needs a man that she can be secured around a man that can protect her was told of a story that armed robbers came somewhere. Open this door now. Bow, bow, bow. The man just stabbed the wife and said, Stand up. No, he, he was pretending like he was sleeping. She just said, Honey, honey, as if he was sleeping, honey, you must wake up. Oh. Are you hearing what is happening? He said, I'm hearing now. Why would you just keep quiet? The guy was sweating and shaking. True life story. The woman got up and started praying in tongues around her house. They were shouting, if you let us open this door by ourselves, this and that and that, do you know that eventually when the armed robbers left and the woman came, she found the man dead. Yeah. What killed him? So who is protecting who? There are many of you, you like women, but you are very fearful. You don't have courage. You are not emotionally balanced. Please don't think of getting into a relationship. That you'll be crying all the time as if you are going to just one you know how people go to just one and they cry at a point the lady is feeling oh god did you bring me to protect this what did you bring me to do in this life you are not a man hallelujah so that, that's it for the guys cardinal virtues ladies brothers if you love your destiny and where God is taking you, make sure you look at this. <laughs> Number one, the ladies must be submissive. Every lady says submission. Look up, please. Submission is not weakness. 
submission is the ability to bring your strength under control are you following me now what is submission the ability to bring your strength under control you see this from many of our mothers the man can be shouting saying something and and our mothers are not wrong but they will just keep quiet you will be wondering and say if i were my mother eh? how about we enter the same trouser say my mother my father is always doing with her she's even doing like musev eh? all this village with me how about no man can try that you better shut up oh. you better shut up because your mother was once a young cc like you and was bouncing like that ask her why she's calm now hallelujah many ladies have this funny there are many things that we are doing that we don't know is childishness this night you will see that is just sheer childishness hallelujah submission very important bringing your strength under control number two can you imagine i'm, I'm just summarizing what pastor jakes has already preached so we have to run number two teachability ladies you must also be teachable there are some ladies, Gamaliel, you always teach everybody. Gamaliel was the person who taught Paul. Some of you are Gamaliel. You sit in the midst of brothers. Do you know that? The brother comes to talk to you. Yeah, just like a Proverbs, this and that said, this and that. And you think you are impressing him. The guy just gets up. Just tells his friend, baby, I'm to me now. Let's just go somewhere. That's not it. It's not the way forward. This is nonsense. As you are talking, the lady is just saying, this is not a wife, this is a man. You are not teachable. There are some of you, no man can sit you down and talk to you. No man. You do something, so even if he's a pastor, you do something, Pastor Jack said, alright, two of you come to see me. He said, me, see you. Nobody brought me into this world though. Even my father doesn't, you see that? So who do you want to come and marry you? Who do you want? Be fair. Who do you want to come and marry this kind of trouble? teachability number three sisters you must be physically attractive the brothers are not just spirits they dwell in bodies they have eyes my friend Ejimi says love is blind marriage will open your eyes sisters look up brothers look up too my brother you better don't deceive yourself if you are going far ah huh? And you don't want to run it now when i talk of beauty beauty is a relative statement but you must don't carry a lady that you will not be proud of huh you just see somebody says my younger is just my younger sister or you just look and say oh, is one lady that is disturbing me or me i'm tired i don't know what to do you kill the lady if you behave to a lady like that you don't deserve her Get out of her life and let the person who deserves her come in. Are you following me? Very important. Don't find yourself. You must be proud of the lady. Ladies, be physically attractive. That does not mean be pornographic or nude. You are a Christian. It means be nice. You are young. Don't celebrate your 50th birthday when you are 22. Be patient. The time will come. And all the brothers say... Amen. Amen. It doesn't mean you must have all the money. Look, we are watching. Brothers are happy when they see a nice sister. You are, you are, you are taking care of yourself. How much is powder? The type we use, how much is it? The type you use is 10,000. That's too expensive. Get the normal. Who will know? Who will know? It's only among yourself, ladies, that you know. Will we know? See a lady just comes, there's, there's fats on your face, oily face, you are just moving, walking anyhow. You are just walking any, you can't even compose yourself. They are sharing food. Join the line, you want to collect, you are doing all these kind of attitudes. The brothers are watching. You need to tell yourself, myself, behave. Behave. The Bible says you are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses. Behave. 
Hallelujah. You must be physically attractive. If you have one shirt, iron it. Don't carry a shirt that is twice your size. Yes, your mother gave it to you. Adero tell us. Reduce it. Abba. Must everybody know it was a gift? You just carry needle and fold it and fold it and clip it. Can they reduce it? The brothers are not idiots. Why we are praying in tongues? Shut <laughs> Yeah. Please, brothers, look for what looks like your future. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can I come to the brothers now? Oh, I must come. You know me. Hallelujah. You see, Archbishop Benson Idahosa said, don't criticize anybody until you have done twice what the person has done once. Hallelujah. Brothers, if you want that kind of glamorous lady, you must start working on yourself as up. Are you following me now? There are many brothers, you are bushy, you don't comb your hair, the dust is dry season but you still see at the back of your shoe mud of rainy season you are uh, no i will talk you must be physically attractive you wear one one singlet for two months it's easy to wear something on top who will know you can't buy perfume of 500 naira you just come you are sweating they say hug your neighbor before they do anything you want to hug how much is sure at least that's the basic one listen you are a leader you don't bob your hair this side is more than this side it's not like maybe it's a style it's just disorganization of your hair because for a long time you can't even go to the barbing salon and say just have it let it be nice you finish buffing even oil you just you are trying to comb it you don't know whether it's back or front you throw the comb away and get up just come for koinonia and you just come and you are smiling you think it's everybody that is smiling with you <laughs> hallelujah your your clothes are always rumpled always 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 rumpled Hmm? go and wear one kind of thing and carry one one kind of tie you, you stop here you now wear it and you are coming and you are just eyeing the sister she's not looking at you i assure you i assure you i assure you she's not looking at you hallelujah Help us, Holy Spirit. We have to run. You must be physically attractive. Both parties. Be smart. We are not saying go and borrow everybody's clothes to come for koinonia with. Uh -uh. If you have been doing it, stop. It's not necessary. God has blessed you. God has blessed you. Hallelujah. You are borrowing your roommate's shoe every week. The day your roommate says it's coming for miracle service too. On that day, you wear your palms and sit outside. Even if you spams you have, wear it honorably. Polish it. Can I tell you something, brothers? I discovered something with ladies. They are not as materialistic as we think. I tell you, there are some ladies that love God and they are willing to start and go with you only if you will be honest. Sisters, is that true? It's not all of you that should say yes because some of you are very materialistic. I'm coming to you. So this was a summary of what Jake shared hallelujah very important so how many of us have been blessed by those qualities how many of us know that there are some of them we need to walk in ourselves don't lie now lift your hands don't pretend i appreciate your honesty this is why we are here and god is helping us do you know why you need to work on these qualities it doesn't mean you have to be perfect but make sure there are honest efforts are you following me now 
so that you can be a blessing to one another everybody say i'm not a curse i'm a blessing say one more time i'm not a curse i'm a blessing hallelujah all right so we're going to talk quickly about entering into a relationship now the process the process of entering into a relationship again let me have one lady and one guy please can we have them quickly quickly we have to one lady Taiwo, please come again Aaron, god bless you one lady and one guy hallelujah please look up there is no crime everybody look up please there is no crime brother in seeing a sister that you love and you find yourself affectionate about it does not make you unspiritual emoji hello <laughs> can you hear me there is no crime <laughs> there is no crime hallelujah when you find out as a brother a good christian brother sharing the word in a in a in a meeting like look at koinonia inside people are inside outside now you are you have been seeing this sister just in the choir her name is taiwo <laughs> hallelujah always ministering something is moving something is changing hallelujah please listen i have to rush we have to be out of here now listen brothers when you want to end let me look at look at me do you know why this thing keeps backfiring for some brothers let me tell you one of the reasons. the bible says the labor of the fool will weary him not because there is no road he doesn't know the road to the city the reason why many of you it's not necessary because you are not nice you don't know how to do this thing you will not seek advice you will not seek counsel you just see a lady like this after koinonia worship team they are holding their hands to pray you can't even wait let them finish the prayer you've got to stand close you are just moving around you can't wait they say hug 20 people you didn't hug anybody you are just gallivanting around the worship team square here as soon as they finish just say, sister please can i talk to you now the lady said well for the benefit of doubt we just finished fellowship say i've been watching you i have policeman you have been watching her what else i've been watching you and uh, the other day I, I was i was talking with my friend just says please please i know where you are going please i beg you just save yourself any stress it won't work you just get up and go to your room say this coin on your lady self now I'll, let me just kukuma be sitting outside you look you you will pray these are people that are seeing us pray they know i'm a man of god yet you won't say yes <laughs> hallelujah dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline